the food. <laughs> The food here, my god, I don't know what they eat, but I'm slowly getting used to it. The food was the first, uh, but then, of course, if you could get your ingredients, you could make anything you want. Uh, Witabix, I don't, I don't get what that is, but okay, okay. I love their breakfast menu. Bacon, um, hash browns, I, I love those, yeah. The biggest one, I think, is that the way people just communicate with each other, or the way that people make friends. Here, there are lots of groups. People are just communicate or hang out together as a group. I tried making friends with people that were already in groups and it, not, it did not really work out. So what I did was, I was just their general friend. I did not try to be a member of their group. I was just this person that they would see and say hi and then we'll talk and then I'll move on. So that was how I was able to manage that. I, I maybe like mannerisms that you just kind of have to get used to, like the way people um, talk and approach different subjects. Pub culture, that's definitely a big one. Drinking culture is a big thing here. Yeah, just getting used to the way people socialize, I think that's a big thing here as well. And also the language barrier, sometimes communicating with, uh, with other people because I think foreigners are quite honest and we just find like the easiest way how we can communicate. But here, um, how the British population talk about uh, stuff, it's, it's very polite and sometimes the language barrier doesn't allow you to say in a proper way and people can get offended. Yeah, honestly, in the first stage it was so scary because I was coming from a country which English wasn't a first language. But when I got here, then I understood that I shouldn't have lots, lots of stress. English is my primary language at the moment. Um, so coming here, I guess the English language itself wasn't a barrier. However, accents are still very much a thing. And then the accents of some people, mm, that's interesting. English, yes, has been my first language, sort of, but then you can never speak English like the English. <laughs> that it's quite tricky to know what to wear, because at some point it's quite cold, and then it's hot, and then it's warm, and then it's raining. What do people wear in winter? Sometimes in winter, because some people want to go to clubs, they wear shorts. I'm like, cover up! It's so cold, I'm freezing and you are wearing shorts now. Nah. Nah, no, that, that's too much.